Hi there. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I know I am. And today we're going to do a little experiment with water. And we'll see if the results of that experiment support flat earth or spherical earth. Now you're probably wondering why we're looking at the grass right now. Well, this is an outdoor type experiment. And we're going to be more or less running water out of a hose and we're going to have a look at the water droplets that form as they're falling to the ground. So let's have a look there. We can't really see much so we'll slow it down. Yeah we can kind of see it. They look spherical kind of. Let's have a closer look. So if you look at those droplets they look spherical. Let's uh, have another look at it again and that droplet there directly under the nozzle was absolutely spherical. Again, another one, 100% spherical. So let's have a close-up look. And that looks kind of round. Those ones too look kind of spherical. It seems that water, when it's not laying on something due to gravity, forms spheres more spheres there and yet more spherical drops of water some of these drops are actually quite large uh, they're up to about a quarter of an inch round so as you can see more more droplets so as far as I'm concerned this means that water actually does curve and this supports uh, spherical earth so the only question that remains, is this possible on a larger scale? Can blobs of water form spheres of larger diameters? And experiments actually done in aircraft doing zero gravity maneuvers show that it is a reality that blobs of water of up to four or five inches in diameter have formed spherical shapes. So... This totally supports the spherical earth and that water will stick to a spherical earth. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you didn't find the outcome disappointing at all. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. And don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Many more videos to come. Have a great day. I'll catch you later.